Hey, welcome to this episode of Road Hard Restorations. We got a new project car. guys so I'm going out to uh, look at this 1974 duster uh, it's a 318 with a three-speed manual uh, well here it is so I'm gonna go look at it and uh, see if we get to bring it home just got back from uh, looking at that duster Sun went down before I thought about taking some videos of it so a little too dark to uh, really see anything but um, I think I'm gonna go pick it up tomorrow um, which uh, if you're lo looking at this um, probably several days ago but uh, um, got a a lot to do in the garage to make room for it. Um, I haven't really done anything with the duster. I know I was saying I wanted to get this thing blasted in and primer uh, by Christmas. But a few days, a couple days after I made that video, um, I actually kind of threw my back out. So I've been kind of out of commission. That's why you haven't seen any videos the last couple of weeks. But I'm feeling a lot better, still a little sore, but um, able to actually move around now. I gotta find a place for all of the uh, duster panels, I just kind of have them nicely laid out. So I got to kind of condense things and try not to damage anything, stack them up in the corner. You got to reorganize that corner there and then uh, slide the duster over. about once a year I go through pull everything away from the walls and sweep up um, usually in the uh, in the fall after it cools down um, we're in Arizona so everything's backwards so if we don't do spring cleaning here we do fall cleaning so, yeah. Wound up uh, having to play some musical cars to get this fit in again here. So this is the 1974 Plymouth Duster. Uh, body's actually not too bad. Uh, looks like somebody's been doing some sanding on it and some rattle can primer. So um, not really too much uh, damage. A few little dings and dents here and there, but nothing major. Biggest issue here is around here on the uh, trunk lock. Uh, this panel's all messed up, but uh, straighten that out. Missing a few things, such as the uh, trunk lock mechanism is all completely gone. Hopefully it's in this mess down here. We're out in the desert and just got through monsoon season going into uh, fall and winter here. So this trunk lid wasn't shut, so all the dirt and water got in here. Hopefully we don't have any rust issues. Hopefully I rescued it before uh, it got too bad. Uh, got, uh, I need to find this filler piece here or simply uh, relocate this bumper, suck it in a little bit more, or maybe try to find a earlier 7072 uh, style bumper uh, to go on there. I just threw these Mustang wheels on there for uh, rollers. Had uh, three and a half flat tires. One good year may pop on the right, on the left front. But uh, all in all, it's not too bad. All the, a lot of, the uh, panels line up pretty good for the most part. Got a little issue down here, it's sticking out on the bottom of the door. But uh, the only rust issue that I could find is just right down here. And that's an easy uh, patch panel away from uh, perfect repair. It's got a uh, new exhaust on it. Somebody put on there somewhat recently. You can see the original blue color here. It's been repainted this uh, you know, teal, green, whatever this is, aquamarine. But uh, yeah, I don't know what that, uh, that blue paint color code is because the data plate's missing, unfortunately, from under the dash. Hopefully that's a little prize I'll find in the trunk. 
They used a two inch exhaust. I'd rather have a two and a half, but for this little 318 with stock manifolds, it should do just fine. It's a 74, so it's got the uh, big bolt pattern, five on four and a half, so I can use uh, whatever wheels I want on there that I have. All my cars are the same now. That's good. Uh, I got four of these with the car. I think they'll clean up really nice. They're old Eagles. At least that's what the center cap says. But they're all in pretty good shape. Just need to polish them up a little bit. I think they'll they'll work just fine. Just need to get some new tires. Get rid of these uh, Goodyear Maypops. The interior leaves much to be desired. It's about as ready as you get. Door cards are all butchered. Steering wheels round at least. Dash pads all cracked to hell. And uh, got a fancy little shifter knob there. <laughs> but uh, it says uh, Indy on the shifter. Uh, three pedal car. That's a three speed manual, obviously. For whatever reason, somebody swapped in an automatic column. Don't ask me why. It is an original stick shift car. You can tell because the uh, factory hump under the carpet I peaked and it has all the original seam sealer. And then the uh, Z bar linkage brackets there on the frame rail. I guess only the uh, manual transmission cars have that. The headliner 74 is nice because it's got these uh, shoulder belts already equipped. Somebody busted out the window, so I gotta see if I can track down another one. Oh, this is a pretty cool. It's got the uh, fold down rear back seat and the trunk divider pulls down so you can put uh, a lot of stuff in there. I think they called that the space duster. Not 100% sure on that. You do a little research and... So let's see what the power plant looks like. I heard it run. It actually runs pretty good. I haven't driven it yet. But there she is. A little stock 318 two barrel. You see that original blue on the firewall there. Somebody decided to rail can some black on the top of the fender aprons. Not sure why they did that. So what we'll probably wind up doing is pulling all this out of here, clean it all up, give it a fresh aerosol overhaul, clean it all up and put it back together. Make sure everything's nice and neat and orderly. And not looking forward to repainting under the hood. This is all flaking off. A lot of sharp edges. Cut your hand on. Tears up the red scotch fright something awful. But we'll make it happen. Get it all sanded down. Fix all the uh, little dings and dents. Fix the rust and the rear body panel. And uh, give it a halfway decent paint job. Get it back on the road. Get it reliable. The gauge is working. Make it a nice daily driver for someone to enjoy. So there it is. 1974 Plymouth Duster. Well, thanks for watching. That's it for this episode of Road Hard Restorations. Hope you dig the new project car. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, go ahead and leave them down below in the comment section. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned because you'll see a lot more of this car in upcoming episodes. Thanks for watching.